A little reminder that whether you're on your half term break this week, like I am, or if you're on your half term break next week, whatever you choose to do during that break, do not feel guilty if you don't do any school related work because the most important resource in the classroom is you. Now, this video is inspired by a post I've just seen on social media where a company's put something out there going, How are you going to be spending your half term break? relaxing or doing your planning and marking and i'm thinking what are you doing why are you projecting this idea that that's what teachers should be spending their half term doing by the way no judgment from me if you do spend your half term break planning and marking that's completely up to you what i don't want is this notion where people feel guilty if they choose not to do that because I guarantee the teacher who takes their half-term break to completely switch off, do nothing really school-related, whatever's going to bring them a bit of joy, a bit of enjoyment, something to relax, will end up being the better teacher come next half-term. There is this weird mentality in teaching where we almost get this teacher guilt when we are taking time for ourselves. And it's wrong. These half-term breaks are needed because during term time, it is so full on. The stats show teachers work on average 57 hours a week. That's nearly double your contracted hours. If you have to, see the half-term break as time in lieu. But you shouldn't even need to do that. The half-term break is yours, so use it however you see fit. If you want to do a bit of work, by all means do it. But then don't feel guilty if you don't. Don't feel guilty if you're spending a day on the couch binging and just for once watching a bit of daytime TV. Don't feel guilty if you're taking time to spend some quality time with your family and friends. Don't feel guilty if you're averaging five naps a day. The reality is the teacher who takes the week off to switch off, recharge, relax and get those energy levels back up compared to a teacher who's going to spend this week just marking and doing all this admin work. Who do you think is going to have the bigger impact in class? The teacher who's energised. Only because, let's be fair, all this marking you do has little to no impact anyway. But let's move away from this idea of teacher martyrism, like it's a badge of honour if you're working every hour under the sun, including your half-term break. Let this video be a reminder that you are the most important resource in the classroom. So if you are taking this half-term break to focus on you, in a roundabout way, you are actually focusing on what's going to have the biggest impact in class for your students. If you need a bit of inspiration, One Day on Netflix is pretty decent so far. And the documentary, Lover, Stalker, Killer, so many twists and turns. Go and give that a watch.